What's up everyone? This is BA here. Welcome to the channel. So today uh, it's going to be a different one. Um, today is going to be my first um, deck tech of one of my decks and this is going to be my favorite one. My favorite tribal commander which is Edgar Markov and this is a vampire tribal commander. So if you guys haven't if you guys don't know Edgar Markov is, um, he is a 6 mana, 4-4, four, four. Eminence, whenever you cast another vampire spell, if Edgar Markov is in the command zone or on the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one black vampire creature token. It has first strike haste, and whenever Edgar attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on each vampire you control. So yeah. So this is gonna be like, you know, I think it's one of the most powerful tribal commander right now. So, all right, let's go ahead and start the video. All right, let's start with the creatures. I got here um, a few, few non-vampires, but they're actually very helpful in the deck. So I got Yogmoth here. Um, I used him for, you know, a removal for creatures and then card draw as well, you know. So he's just really good. And then I got Adaptive Automaton. Um, it's kind of like a, a Lord, you know, one of the Lords, you know, it's a good creature. And then same thing with Metallic Mimic. Um, it gets plus one plus one counter on every vampire that comes into play, It's good. Um, Mirror Entity, always um, good as well in any tribal. Kalastra Highborn. Olivia Voldarn, of course, right? Vampire Nocturna is always good in any vampire black deck. And then Captivating Vampire, one of the lords. Vampire Hex Mage. Gifted Aetherborn. Kalidas, always good. Dark Imposter. Uh, Forerunner of the Legion, one of the vampire tutor. Really good. Rakish here, uh, Blood Artist, OG Vampire, Sanctum Seeker, a really nice. And we got Indulgent Aristocrat, Drana Liberator of Malakir, Coral Vampire from Modern Horizon, one of, Lo one of the Lords, Stormfur Captain, and Bloodline Keeper. Bishop of the Bloodstain. I like this card. Uh, Twilight Prophet. And Malakir Bloodwitch. One of the Lords, a Legion Lieutenant. Then Yeheni and Dying Partisan. We got Elenda. Alright. And then Champion of the Dusk. Navrin. Dusk Apostle. Viserra Seer. Cruel Celebrant, and then the last one is, oh actually there's two more, Vampire Nighthawk, and the last one is the Knight of the Evil Legion, alright, so that's all the, the creatures, really good stuff, I think there's like probably 30-35 creatures, now I go to the spells, alright so now we go to the, the spells of the deck, we got Enlightened Shooter, Really good tutor. Uh, Mortify. Chaos Warp. Anguish Making. Compare Tutor. I love that art. Eternal Masters. Of course, the Fairest Protection. Bedevil. Good card. Generous Gift. We got Other End. Of course, Source to Plowshares. And Path to Exile. And I think that's all the instants. This is all the sorceries. I got Demonic Tutor, got Vindicate, Diabolic Intent. I think this is going up on the new um, Commander 2020. And then this one as well, Wheel of Fortune. And that's all of the sorceries. Now we go to the Planeswalkers. I got the Soren Solemn Visitor, Lord of Innistrad. Imperious Blood Lord, so that's all the Planeswalkers. And then I got a few enchantments Legion's Landing, Pyrection Arena, one of the few card draw in this deck. 
and shared animosity. So that's all of the spells of the deck. So you can kind of get the, a theme, you know, it's very casual, competitive. You know. So, all right, let's go to the artifacts. All right, this is gonna be the artifacts. So of course, soul ring, you gotta have the soul ring. Arcane signet. And then you got the four signets. The three signets, there you go. Mardu signets. And then you got the chromatic lantern. Skull clamp, one of the card drawn engine of the deck, and then you got Sensei's Dividing Top, Mana Crypt, and we got the Felwar Stone. So that's all of the artifacts of the deck. That's it, and then we go to lands. All right, so I think I got like 34 35 lands over here. So uh, first up is Maze of Ith. I actually count this as a spell, but since I have Warborg, so it kind of counts as a land as well. So, all right, I got Maze of Ith. I got City of Brass, Mana Compass. This is actually going up right now. Uh, Command Tower, Exotic Orchard. I got Ancient Tomb, Warborg, Cavern of Souls. Vault of the Archangel, really good. We got Mutavolt. Then I got the three Pain Lands, Mardu. And then I got the three uh, Dual Lands, Mardu. And then I don't know what this is called, but I got the Mardu, the three of them. And then I got the Mardu Shock Lands. And then I got the Mardu Fetch Lands. And then I got the Prismatic Vista. And then basics, I have one, two, three, four, five, six swamps. I got two planes and one mountain. So that's gonna be it for the entire deck. All right. So that's gonna be it for today. So that's my Erdgar Markov Commander. I would call it like, a, I would say like, seven eight out of ten you know but yeah that's gonna be my first deck tech in the channel so yeah so if you guys like the video um yeah hit a like and subscribe share the video and if you guys like the cards that i play you know feel free to ask questions whatever but yeah so thank you guys for watching see you guys next time peace